In today's lesson, I'm gonna teach you volley and overhead. You know what volley is? No. So volley is hit close to the net, and it's a shot that's taken in the air, kind of like volleyball, you know? So if the ball bounces, that's considered a ground stroke, okay? There's another thing called a half volley, but don't worry about that, we'll get to that later. So I'm gonna teach you how to take the ball out of the air when you're close to the net. You wanna try a few? All right, so you stand right there, close to the net. Now I'm gonna feed you some balls. Go right in the middle. Okay, let me see. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay. Okay. Actually, you're doing really good volleys. You're doing a lot of things already correct without ever having uh, played one of these shots. But one thing that you're doing badly, you're doing what I call the windshield wiper. So when you get a ball on this side, you hit it like this. And then when you get one on this side, you go on like this. You know, like a windshield wiper okay. on a car. So the first thing we have to change, we cannot hit volleys with a forehand grip. Now, you remember the backhand grip that we used? Yeah, forehand is that. Remember yeah. backhand? Turn your hand that way. And I point the racket towards me. Okay, let go of the racket. And just put your hand on top. Right on top, like that. There you go. That's called a continental grip. And the great thing about this grip is you're going to use it on your two-handed backhand, on your volleys, your overheads, and all the other kind of specialty shots that you're going to be hitting. The only time you have to change your grip is for the forehand. So on the volley, it's very important that you use the continental grip. And now when the ball comes on this side, you're going to use one, oh, you change it to a uh, forehand grip. Oh, okay, yeah. yes. So when a ball comes on this side, you're going to go like this. And you're basically going to do the same thing you just did. You're going to deflect the ball back. You know what I mean by deflect? It's kind of like block. You basically let, oh, the okay. ball, let the ball bounce off the strings and come back. Now, when it comes to the backhand, you can use the other hand as support. Eventually, it might be better off if you did, did just one hand. But you have to use the other side of the racket. You see, so you're using this side of the racket on the backhand volley. Now let go and using this side of the racket on the forehand volley. Right. And in the middle, you're in a ready position, like this. Okay, and so here also, just... Just deflect. Yes. Block it, for no, now. No force. No force. Okay. Just let the ball bounce off the strings. Yes. Let's see what happens, okay? okay? Now, I'm gonna feed it really gently. You're gonna go back into my hands, okay? Here we go, forehand first. Now, what I'd like you to do is just set the racket right away. That way, we don't have to do it out of the ready position. And then keep your elbow in front, like this. And now I'm going to throw the ball, you're just going to let it deflect off your racket and come back to me. Put it right there right away. Put the elbow in front a little bit. Yeah. And you can keep the racket closer to your body, it's going to feel better there. Okay. Okay? And just come back to me. There it is. Okay, not bad. Good. Come again. Now, you have a tendency, not just you, but the players in general have a tendency to start straightening the arm. And it becomes more difficult when the ball is further away. So, keep the arm bent but just get the elbow in front of the body. See the body here? Yeah. You don't want anything between here, okay? Yeah. Like this, okay. and just deflect it back, okay? Nice. Ah, you change your grip to a forehand. Go back to Continental. I noticed, you noticed everything. I noticed everything, I'm watching you very closely. Good, come again. Good, again, nice. All right, now do backhand side. Back inside, you don't change the grip. You keep the elbow in front. Don't turn too much. Stay a little more open like this. Okay, a little bit, like a little bit more turn. There you go, perfect. It's like a quarter turn, okay? And you come back to me. Okay, if you go like this, if you snap the wrist a little bit, it's, it's gonna go crooked. There you go, that's good. Good, again. Nice. Just deflect. Okay, again, it's all right. Another one. Good. Again, good. Good, good, nice. And straighten the racket. Now you already see how, how directional control works in tennis. If you make contact like this, you notice the balls are going crooked, right? So if you want the ball to go straight, you gotta keep the racket straight, okay? So to break the wrist is okay. You have to break the wrist. You have to extend the wrist backwards. So on, on this side, it's gonna be your left hand. On the forehand side, it's gonna be the right hand, okay? There we go. Okay, that went up a little bit. Maybe close the racket face slightly. Good. Okay, now go in the middle, we'll try forehand and backhand, okay? So the ready position is gonna be slightly down with the upper body. Go down a little bit, a little bit more. There you go. And get in your knees a little bit, bend your knees, and get on your toes, like that. Now the ball's gonna come, you go forehand here, one hand, remember? And then back to the ready position, and backhand here. And it's important to be really ready at the net because the ball's gonna be coming fast. You don't have a lot of time because you're close to the net. So so Absolutely. Okay, okay. All right, here we go. Not of the toes completely, but 
not completely on the toes, like you know, like this, but like, but a little bit more with the weight forward. Yeah. yeah. All right, here we go. And again, backhand. Good. Forehand, come. Good. Backhand. Nice. Forehand. And try to minimize the movements of the racket. You just deflect the ball back. In other words, you block it back. You let the ball play the racket. Good. Come again. Nice. Okay, now I want to try something. Because there is a disadvantage to having a two-handed volley. It's not wrong to do two hands on this side. Is it but you volley? Oh, volley. Volley. Oh, I'm not saying it right. It's V-O-L-L-E-Y. Okay. How do you say it? Volley. Volley? Yeah. We're both saying it wrong. Yeah. It's actually volley with an O. Now go ahead and put the rack on this side. See, there's less reach. Let go of the left hand. Let go of the left hand. See, now you have more reach with one hand. Yeah. So it's an advantage to do one-handed backhand volleys. Even though, yeah, even though you have a two-handed backhand back there. So let me try that real quick. So go ahead and do it with one hand. Let go of the left hand. So let me see what that looks like. If you're strong enough, you might be able to do this right away. Does that feel weak? Yeah. Yeah, most players are a little bit weak with their wrist when it comes to the uh, one-handed backhand volley. So what I, what I recommend now, maybe we add this later as you play more tennis. But for now, we'll stick to the two-hander and we'll change it down the road, okay? And forehand, good. Backhand, good. Wow. What do you think? Easy, right? Yeah. Like okay, it. let's make it harder. Stand behind this cone right here. I'm gonna feed you short. You're gonna run up with the arm already set up like we practiced. You're gonna put the elbow in front. You're gonna keep the racket here. The wrist is gonna be bent back. You're gonna run up and then just deflect. All right, ready? Forehand, come. You're gonna have to run fast because the ball is gonna be very slow. Yeah. So the first two or three steps, they're very explosive uh -huh. and then kind of slow down closer to the ball, okay? Fast, go, 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 go. Good. Don't take your racket back like this. Keep your racket in front like this. That's all you gotta do, just deflect. Good job. Good. And go, come get up there. Nice one, yes. All right, let's try backhand, same thing. Okay. Set the racket already on that side, and you're gonna go this way. Come. Come forward, come. Good, good, good. Come, 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 come. What's happening is you're not, uh, you're not moving through the ball, you're stopping too early, and then you're reaching like this. Yeah, I'm not sure where I am. In just keep. To the ball. I know. Just keep going. Okay. You gotta try to get as close to the net as possible. And go. Much better. See that extra one or two steps afterwards helps you to keep the balance. And go. Good. Remember, you shouldn't try to extend the arms like this. Keep the elbows a little bit closer to your body. It's gonna give you a better feel. Huh? Very nice. All right. Now let's do forehand and backhand. So you do one forehand, come back there, ready position, and then backhand. Forehand. Good, backhand, good, forehand, nice, and backhand side, come on, good. <laughs> so you already learned how to volley from a stationary position and you learn how to volley moving forward. It was a really good job. Yeah. But now, don't be scared, but I'm gonna hit the ball harder to you. Mm -hmm. And you're just gonna stand here and you're gonna deflect the ball back. Cause that's the reality, when you come to the net, people are gonna probably hit it a little bit harder than I was just now. Good. 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 Don't swing. See, what happens if you swing, you lose control immediately. That's why it's important to just freeze the racket, okay? You block the ball. Good. Nice. Nice. Good job. How was that? Was that scary? Yeah, right? Very much. So if you are in that ready position, if you keep your elbows in front, it makes it a lot easier to react. So you have to remember to be ready at the net. If you're like standing straight up, then it's even more difficult to react. Yeah. All right, so one more thing we do on the volley is what happens when you get a low ball. And then now this turns really into a very athletic type of volley where you have to try to bend because what you don't want to do is keep your legs straight and then bend the upper body because now you'll volley up. So when you get a low volley, you'll have to go into a lunge. You know what I mean by lunge? And then you have to get the body down so that the racket uh, head doesn't drop too low. But the racket head remains level and then you can still hit a quality volley. Okay. So back up a little bit. Try to get as low as possible. Wow, very good. Do it again. Ready position and lunge. Nice. And again, lunge. Good. Again, lunge. Wow. Okay, now back end, same thing, okay? Ready position. And you're going to lunge and get as low as you can. 
Oh, you went a little bit down with the upper body oh, there. Yeah, Here we go. Can I launch you with my left leg? Um, not on the back and it's going to be more difficult. The yeah. more natural way is to do it with your right leg. Try it. <laughs> Try one with your right leg. Try it. You see, it's more difficult. With yeah, with the left. Do it with the right, with the dominant okay. leg. Now go ahead and ready position. Nice. If you remember on our backhand lesson, you also wanted to hit all your two-handed backhands like this, remember? So you have some kind of natural preference to do it off this leg, but you have to break that and do it the other way around. You have That's to... It feels kind of straight. So yeah, on the left side, use your right leg, okay? Yeah. Do it again. Ready position? Okay. Better. Yes. Yes. You see, now you get better angles to work with. A really good job on the volley. But now, what do you do when you're at the net and somebody gives you like a high ball, right? Now I you... scream. Okay. <laughs> you have to do something called an overhead. So this shot is kind of self-explanatory. And what I noticed when we were doing overheads in the beginning. Okay, try again. Another one. Just like the serve, you have the tendency to be open towards the ball. So you see a ball, and this feels very safe to beginners to kind of face the ball and do a shot like this. Right. So you have to break this natural habit that, that you have and turn sideways, just like you did on the serve. So okay. go ahead, stand right on this line. The ball is going to be coming high. As soon as you see it's high, it's over your head, you're going to turn like this and put the racket in the trophy. Remember the trophy? Right. Remember, same grip still. It's the continental grip. You're going to be right here. To get this tilt of the shoulders, you put your left arm up towards the sky. And now you see your, your chin is going to go over your shoulder. You're going to be staring at the ball with your chin over the left shoulder like this. So you need a full turn. Like this, racket is down on this side. Left arm is up. That's your ready position for the overhead. When the ball is very close, that's when you take a swing at it. And you're going to swing down on it. You're going to hit it hard into the ground. Over the net, of course. Okay, the mistake that you're doing is very common. So what I told you before, you're very comfortable opening up. So now you're setting up like this, but then you're opening up too early and waiting for the ball like this. I want you to really wait like this. Yeah. It's going to be really weird. Wait like this until the ball is very close. And, and then when you accelerate, you're actually going to rotate into the ball. Obviously, you're not going to hit it like this. You're going to rotate into the ball like that. Okay. Okay, go ahead and get set. Go again. Okay? Better! So first of all, you're doing a really good job on your overhead, but one mistake, you're still going too early like this. I want you to look where I'm accelerating from on the overhead. Look, okay. see my racket is in the trophy, right? Yeah. And look here. You see how it's accelerating from here? Look, you can't see it because it's accelerating fast. But you're doing this, watch. Right here. You see how the racket is waiting here? Don't wait like this. Accelerate from here, look. So you're doing it because you want to make sure that you make contact with the ball. So you put the strings flat like this because you mentally, the image is like the strings out towards the ball and you know you're going to make contact. Uh, yeah. But if you wait here, you're going to accelerate much longer and much faster therefore. Yes. Your range of motion is going to increase. So your racket's going to go in here, out here, and then into the contact. Better. Better. Go again. Best one so far. Wow! Yes! Okay, now we're going to do the ultimate test. Uh, we're going to do everything we did today. A forehand volley, a backhand volley, and then an overhead. Forehand. Good. Backhand. Overhead. Much better. All right, let's do a racket tap. Awesome. Awesome job.